Yeah, this low water would be a is a great opportunity for somebody to come and clean clean this river up. I mean, the stones. I'm guessing they're natural or could be natural. But then you got. I mean, there's a brick. That's not natural. They could pick up these bricks and whatever that piece of stuff. That's that's not natural. There's a lot of this stuff that could be, you know, picked up out of the river and hauled away somewhere. And I can see bricks in that shallow water there. I know bricks aren't natural. Stones might be. This would be a great opportunity to clean up this river. Wow, it's low like this. They could get to stuff that otherwise they wouldn't be able to get to so easy. Yeah, there's a lot of bricks intermingled intermingle with the stones and there's something over there around that what am I looking at okay right there that what am I looking at? okay yeah that stone there's some uh, I don't know what the heck that is but it's not natural I like could pick all this stuff out of the river and take it away somewhere the landfill or something or whatever they do this stuff I read on the internet that the Muskingum River is the fourth dirtiest river in the United States I found that hard to believe that's pretty extreme but I don't know because you can see when the water level gets low I mean you can see this water doesn't look dirty to me. You can see the bricks and stones. You can see the bottom of the river. But, I don't know. That's what I saw on the internet. Fourth dirtiest river in the United States. Hard for me to believe. But, nevertheless, there's some, definitely some stuff that could be cleaned up. And they say the remnants of the bridge. The 555 bridge. They must have blowed up the old one and just left the debris in the river it's right on the sign down there to put them landing parks they ought to clean that up I don't know why they don't wouldn't clean that up And this pipe, I mean, it's an old pipe. I'm not sure that's been there a long time. I don't know if it's still in use or what it would be carrying. So I don't know, but if that's not in use, this would be a great time to, you know, like pull up this old pipe. If it's, oh, I don't know, maybe it continues here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what this pipe is about. Somebody should know. <sighs> now that's just plain garbage right there. I mean, I think this is a, uh, a great area here and it should be open to tourists, but you find trash like this a lot around the river it seems like homeless people seem to camp out the river and leave their clothing and stuff here i've seen it many times i wish that i don't know they could patrol this area or something or i don't know but i'm sure they do some cleanups well like there's a there's a wendy's cup so so somebody should clean them up and there's like an old brick. Here's an old brick. Let's see. Can't get that off of there. It's got the name of something on it. Zanes, see Zanesville. R, R B I S. And I can't. Somebody would know.
Now that just looks, that's a natural stone there. Of course, I don't know if they, in the old days, if they, I don't think they'd use, they'd use wood on the bridge. So these are probably a lot of natural stones here. That's not, that's a piece of concrete right there. That's a chunk of concrete. That shouldn't be here. Another brick, that shouldn't be here. I don't think. see the red of that brick on that side. Uh, my hands are dirty now. Yuck. Well, well there's there's a, a concrete block right there, so that obviously shouldn't be here. That's that's garbage. I'd call that garbage there. I shouldn't be in the river. And it's a shame that so many people throw tires and trash of the sorts of garbage into the rivers and creeks all over the place i i think it's like the worst place to pollute is your waterways there's something i don't know what that is that's trash that's not natural there there's a clothing some type of clothing i'm not touching that right there that ought to be cleaned up here's something Maybe a dipstick or something from a car. I don't know. Yeah, they ought to clean this up. There's other stuff that's trash. That's, this would be the time. Well, it's low. I mean, this would be a great time to clean this stuff up. Yep, there's more trash right there. Right there. It's a shame. I mean, I've seen beer cans down here before and just stuff. I don't know why the, the bums have taken over. You know, the Lock 10 Park is just going to be a really nice place. Right there's an old pipe, an old pipe, rusty old pipe just laying there in the river. I would think they could get a crew down here and get some of this junk cleaned up while the river's low and you can really get to it. But yeah, that's a pipe, old pipe there. There's fresh garbage, somebody put a can of something. Just left a can laying here. I don't know if it's alcohol or an energy drink. Red Bull with an energy drink. Yeah, so that's something recent. That's probably just put there a day or two ago. It looks like an old railroad tie. There's more garbage over This is fresh garbage over here. How'd I see it? Oh, there it is. So this is probably something somebody's left here in the last day or two. What the hell is it? Another energy drink. I don't know what the hell it is. Yeah, it's some type of power aid. Or something. And, well, here's something. Looks like a. I don't know what that is. It's got electrical wires in it. I don't know. Huh. That might be interesting. Somebody knows what that is. I don't know what that is. I see gears. I don't know. And what else do I see? I see something over here. 
now. This looks like fresh garbage. Con's potato chip bag. Yeah. Needs to be something to keep this place clean. It'd be really nice. Really, even for tourism and stuff. Now, there's a business over across the river there that has kayaks they run during the summer. I've, I've rode those kayaks. They uh, dropped me off at Dillon Falls Road and uh, came all the way down the Licking River to meet the uh, Muskingum. And uh, it was fun. I've done it several times in 2022 and 2023. Didn't do any this year, but. And there's the, uh, that building. I get to that building. That's the building. That, see that sign says boathouse on it. That's where they pick you up at from the Licking River ride. And they have another ride where they go on down the Muskingum. Go southeast from there on the Muskingum. And then they do, uh, Paddle boarding, some type of paddle boarding yoga. And I have no interest in that, but I do like the kayaking. And they rent inner tubes too, if you like that. I don't care for that myself. That happens. They're closed now for the year, probably because of the drought. I don't know, maybe they close this time of year anyway. There's more garbage. I don't know what that is. Is that an umbrella? No. I don't know what it is. But you, there's cl old clothing under there. There's some type. Yeah, they need to clean this place up. And now would be a great time to do it. There's a big gulp cup or something. And that's probably only been here a few days. Thirst. R-E. I don't know. Some drink. There's ducks up close. Hello, duckies. They're on candid camera. Oh, there's a bunch more. I didn't see them. Yeah, they swallow that plastic. That'd probably kill them. There are plastic bottles around here. There's more ducks over there. <laughs> Oh, there's something. A damn tire. I don't know why people dump tires in the rivers and creeks, but there's an old tire. Looks like some old rug or something here. That's been there a while. Looks like an old rug. There's an old tire. Dang. Look at all that corrosion. Tire treads don't even, that, don't even look that bad. There's some old can. Fresh garbage, some damn water bottle. Crap. They need to clean this up. Looks like this might have been where somebody's had a fire recently. That gray, ashy looking. We got a, a burn prohibition right now due to the drought so gonna start a big fire right now now here I am over by the canal you look over across the other side of the canal look at all those concrete blocks that's trash man that's, that shouldn't be there somebody I have to somebody I clean that up and people now those look like they've been there for quite a while but people are still doing dumping that type of stuff in the river there's an old pipe all corroded they ought to clean this up somebody I don't know who's in charge I don't know if it's the city of Zanesville Department of Natural Resources High Estate I don't know that, that stuff ought to be cleaned up you know this could be really a nice place and it is a nice place really but they need to clean up